Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Hey guys, it's Mike. And Holly. We've got another Treats Box. Treats. Yummy. So thank you to Treats for sending this to us. Thank you. So Treats is a snack candy box uh, monthly subscription type thing. But what they do is they send you stuff from different parts of the world. Mm. So every month you can get something from another part of the world totally different than anything you've ever tried before. Yeah. They are fun. If you guys want to try one of these, and I recommend it, it, this is a fun family activity. Like, literally, <laughs> yeah. just have the whole family sit down and try all these neat little snacks and treats and candies from around the world. Mm -hmm. I will put a link in the description. You can click the link. It'll take you over to the website, and you can sign up there. So, so let's see where we're going today. Oh. oh. We're going to South Korea. It's, do you even know how to pronounce that? Yeah. Yaksam Temple? That Yaksam sounds pretty good. Temple. Okay. <laughs> uh... And Yong from Treats. This month's Treats comes to you from South Korea. South Korea is a fascinating country known for its beautiful hilly countryside as well as the development of technology in cities such as Seoul. 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 Oh my gosh. Seoul. Let's learn some geography. <laughs> I'm, it's bad, I know. <laughs> the nation's capital and the city with the fastest internet in the world score. Let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> During the period from 1950s to the present, Korea rose from being one of the world's poorest countries to having the 11th largest economy in the world. See, this is educational as well. Yeah. Korea's largest snack companies were formed during this period, and in the process, they developed an array of amazing snacks such as choco pies. Loving it. Whoa, hope and one of those are in here. <laughs> an iconic snack that is um, belo beloved across Asia, and Pepero, a snack which is in which inspired a national holiday, Pepero Day, where Pepero is gifted to loved ones. Nice. Both of those snacks are in your box. There you go. I just saw Choco Pie on the little <laughs> card here. <laughs> no cheating. As well as many other gems we look forward to you discovering. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the treats. Masike Diosio <laughs> Treats Team. And there is a beautiful photo from South Korea. Mountains and snow and treats. I'm all about it. Okay, so you will go. get a card <laughs> in your box that does list. Hold on, let me get the right angle. Everything that comes in mm -hmm. the box, so you kind of know what it is because a lot of this I is going to be in languages we don't necessarily know. Right. <laughs> There's Ooh, what your box will look like before we start yummy. tearing it apart. Yummy. So let's start with this plum thing. Plum. Because it does say plum. That's the only thing I got on it. Sweet plum candy by Hatai. Sweet Plum Candy is a hard round candy by famed Korean confectionery group Hatai. This treat has one of the most unique flavors of any candies we've encountered. It, it tastes just like plum. I like plums. Um, okay. Good. Sorry if I say any of this wrong. Oh, carto. <laughs> oh, those look like cream fries? and cheese flavor. Oi, carto by <laughs> Orion are potato chips in the form of squared tube similar to fries. They are crunchy in texture and filled with flavor. I, Orion recommends eating them with ranch, peanut butter, cheese sauce, salsa, or honey. Oh my gosh. Ooh. They hooked us up with the <gasps> choco pies. No way. <laughs> my goodness. It so must it looks be like it's something like a moon pie. It's what it looks like. There's enough one for each of us. Choco Pie by Orion. Choco Pies by Orion are biscuit la biscuits layered with chocolate and marshmallow. Yep, so like a moon pie. Oh. The chocolate coating of Choco Pies surrounds the inner layer of the marshmallow. Fun tip. Some people prefer to freeze the Choco Pie before Ooh. eating it. Maybe we'll have to freeze one of these. Okay, toast. I think this is seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> by or does it go like that? Samjuka Jim, otherwise known as Laver is a traditional Korean snack made from seaweed, which is seasoned and toasted to perfection. <laughs> Something new. Never had seaweed toasted that I can... seaweed to perfection. That well, I sushi. know of. Sushi. We used to make, we used to try to make our own sushi no, with the... you did. Seaweed. You I do not like sushi. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't... I thought you tried it. Crunchy in texture and savory in taste, this snack is a favorite in Asia. Okay. Peppero, which looks like white chocolate oh. covered Oreo sprinkled. <laughs> white cookie peppero by Latte. White cookie pepperos are biscuit sticks dipped in a thick layer of cookies and cream coating, white chocolate, and cookie crunch. It's so popular in Korea, it's an, it has a national holiday in Korea called Pepero Day held on November really? 11th. <laughs> what is November 11th, Michael? Pepero Day. 
What else is oh, November 11th? Our, well, our anniversary. <laughs> our anniversary is November 11th. Okay, so we've had these before. Oh, yes, I don't know if have. it's the same, like if it's a Japanese thing also mm. and a Korean thing. Okay, but so... These like little mushroom cap things, which is like a cookie with chocolate. Um, why am I not... Oh, Choco biscuit. Boy by Orion. Choco Boys are crunchy chocolate-tipped biscuits in the form of a mushroom. Choco Boy biscuits also contain DHA, omega-3 fatty acids serving a critical component of brain and nerve cell membranes. Are they going to make us smarter? Because if eating these make me smarter, I'm totally Oh, I'll totally. Okay I'll, I'll eat so many, I'll be a genius. <laughs> Cancho. Cancho. Choco Biscuit by Lotte. Bite-sized crunchy biscuits filled with a chocolate filling. They comes in a cute packaging with adorable looking love struck mascots named Kani and Choni. I think we've had something similar to that. Aww, There's other things like that. Yummy. Okay, and it looks like our last thing looks mm. like some sort of waffle thing. Waffle. Looks like a waffle. Waffle mate <laughs> by <laughs> Waffle Mate by Latte. As its name suggests, it is a snack in the form of a honey-flavored waffle biscuit. They are waffles that are ready to eat out of the bag. They go great with a cup of coffee or milk. Okay, so... Should we start with, like, the seaweed and kind of get that, <laughs> get that out of the way? I guess. Then, then it's then only we, uphill from there. And then we can move on to the potato chips. Because okay. we like to do salty before we do sweet. And, ooh, toasted to perfection, they say. You can take just, like... No, you have to eat the whole thing. I was going to say, you, have, you can taste just a tiny oh, bite. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa, it's, it's like jiggly. Super thin. Woo. Ooh, seaweed. <laughs> toasted, salted and toasted to perfection. It's fun. You guys can't see it right there, but it's or like it's see-through. It looks like almost glassy, plasticky. It smells like seaweed. You ate the whole thing. I don't want to eat the thing. Ooh. Okay. Gotta say, first off, I don't like anything that's in the sea. I don't like fish. <laughs> or anything that tastes fishy. And you do get a fishy. It's salty, but it's fishy. Oh, that's kind of all right. I like the salt that's on it, but mm -hmm. I just, something about fishy fish. <laughs> it does have that fishy taste because it is seaweed. I mean. Oh, um, no, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, so let's try these. But it's all about trying something unique that you wouldn't try. Do I have any seaweed in my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are supposed to be similar to like um, a French fry. French yeah. fry. Okay. Goodness. Wow, that is sealed good. That's like the most annoying thing, somebody opening a bag of chips or a bag of fries. Ooh. Crunchy, intact. Oh, those smell good. They're bigger good. than I thought they were going to be. Um, so there's a hole flavor. in it. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like a fry. Mm. Looks like a steak fry. It's a little sweet. Oh. Oh. It says cream and cheese flavor. Mm. But it's a little sweet. So they recommend eating them with ranch, peanut butter, cheese sauce, salsa, or honey. Good. Good texture. I could see that. Nice crunch. It's like a soft crunch. Mmm. Mm. Oh, those are going to be gone. I like those. Those are delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let's <laughs> Aren't do the, you glad we got the seaweed out of the way? The waffles, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all good now. <laughs> all good. There is no going wrong from here. So, no. Although I'm not sure how I'm going to like the plum. I think I'll like those. You do? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Ooh, ooh. Whoa, those smell good. That smells like fresh, like mm. a bakery... Um, Type oh, thing. Like a waffle cone. Mm-hmm. Mm mm. Mm. So buttery. Biscuity texture? Like buttery biscuit cookie, buttery cookie. That's so good. if you've had a waffle cone, like you can you can order your ice cream in a waffle cone. It's similar to that, only it's not, not that as texture. hard. Right. It's not as hard. It's not that texture. It's more of a softer, like, melt-in-your-mouth, crumbly, cookie texture. Kind of, yeah. That's what I must say. Oh, I'm going to eat all that when mm. we're done. Mmm. That's good. Okay, mm. let's go with the smiley face That would ones. be good with ice cream. It says with coffee or milk, but that would be good with ice cream, like a waffle cone. Mmm. Problem is... I want to eat this stuff all the time. <laughs> I want to like 
find a place where I can Some buy it. Some of the stuff we can find if we go online. to specialty stores or like world market. Oh wait, I forgot what this is. Oh, chocolate filled, right? Oh, and these are yeah. the the lover love birds. I don't know. I love can't tell which way, so I don't know if the Aww, shaped a right. Little present. It got has a little present on it. Bite sized crunchy biscuits filled with chocolate filling. Did you bite it in half? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> there's the chocolate. The chocolate mm. was in there, but it's in my mouth. Mm. Back in, like, maybe the 80s or the 90s, there was a Keebler Magic Middles thing. Mm -hmm. Where it was a cookie, a little mini cookie like this, flavor that had uh, chocolate mm -hmm. in the middle. That's, That's what they exactly remind me of. That's exactly what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Those are good. They're a nice, um, again, like a soft mm. crunch cookie instead That's of like a hard. Good. You would think it would be, like, harder, but it's not. It's really nice. Mm. Good chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, it tastes like okay. people are kind. A little marsh marshmallow. Mushroom, guys. Mm. Chocolate-tipped biscuits in the form of a mushroom. Oh, these are the ones that are going to make us smart. DHA omega-3 fatty acids. We're going to get smarter right before Isn't your that eyes. is fish, though? <laughs> what? Isn't yeah. that one's in Oh, broken oh. one. I'll eat the broken one. I well, I wanted mind. to just get a complete one so I could mind. show them. So it's, it looks like a little mushroom top on a stick. This would be really fun for making a dessert with your kids. And then, like, you could make, like, a little fairy garden with your kids out of <laughs> chocolate. Like, chocolate pudding or something. And then put the little... Oh. Mm. Again, mm -hmm. good chocolate. Mm. Oh, those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be Peppero Day today here. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Peppero Day. I think these are going to be really good, too. Cookies and cream. So basically, oh, like, like pokey. um... Pokey, yeah, pokey. Pocky, pokey, whatever they're pokey. called. Poke. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. That's got a good cookie and cream flavor. Mm. Remember those Nestle Alpines we used to get? Mm hmm That's, like, that good of white chocolate. Mm-hmm. And then you have the little biscuit stick, which adds more crunch to it, and a little bit of salty. Not salty, because it's not really salty. Oh, the yeah. biscuit I to flavor. <laughs> I totally get why they celebrate these. Have a day for celebration with these. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Oh, choco pie. Choco pie. Are we going to share or eat our own? We'll share this one, and then okay. we can... Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Look at that. Ready? I think it's going to be better than a moon pie. Oh, it does look very similar to a moon pie. I would say it's softer. It's softer than a moon pie? Yeah. It's not as, what, not as chewy? Yeah, like a moon pie, you bite into it once and then it all just kind of falls apart. Mm. It bites very easily. Mm. A richer chocolate, mm -hmm. too. Better than a moon pie. Chocolate pie. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. We've got three more of those to eat. Okay, we cleanse our palate for like... Because this isn't chocolate. It's going to be mm -hmm. plum. We had to freeze one of those. And try it frozen. It'd be good with a scoop of ice cream on top. Okay, now the Lizzie's plum candies. Oh, and they are individually wrapped. Very nice. I just throw the chocolate in my mouth. Oh, cool. They look like little, mm. little glass. Oh, is that plastic or is that supposed to be colored like that? It looks like a marble. That looks like a marble. Does that mean we're going to... I thought it was going to be chewy. Mm -mm. That's not chewy at all. That's plum. Oh, my. That's good. Uh, nope, it's uh, definitely full hard candy. That's good. It's going to take us a while to eat this, though, so we might have to spit it out. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? That's good. You know what it reminds me of? It tastes like peach tea. It tastes peachy. It does. It tastes like peach tea. Like if you get a, a you know sweet tea that has peach tea, yep. that's what it tastes like. It's mm, really good. Those are good. I didn't think I'd like it, but I was expecting chewy. But I didn't really look at the package and realize that yeah, it was well, like I a hard candy. Yeah, I could tell by feeling it was gonna be hard candy. That's quite delightful. It's a good stuff. Okay, Yummy. favorites. Mm. <sighs> um, fries are good. Choco pie. I'm gonna go with these, the Concho choco biscuits with those the smiley guys on them. I'm going to go with the little waffle like things because I think these would be so good. Like they said with coffee, but also with ice cream because that's kind of 
the waffly thing. It reminds me of like the waffle cones that we have. So these are really good. This dipped in chocolate. <laughs> That's what they need to do is like have it half half of it drizzled in sure chocolate. The seaweed wasn't your favorite. Oh no. I guess this is the only salty thing that I liked, which actually wasn't all that salty. It had a little sweetness to it. It does have it. a little bit of a sweetness yeah, to it's, it. That's odd. Oh, those are really good. But really, everything aside yeah. from the seaweed was good. Everything like, really was... good. All these, the chocolate stuff was like, amazing. Like, if we could get our hands on this, we would have this stuff <laughs> stuffed in our pantry. For sure. Delicious stuff. So, again, if you guys want to try one of these boxes every month, you're going to get a different box from a different section of the world. Mm, so, so fun. you're going to get different things. You're not going to get the same stuff every month right i will put the link in the description click on the link go over sign up it's reasonably priced so that, that's a good thing you do get like good size if mm -hmm. not full size samples yeah. of stuff this is all of the products so they're not just like little they don't just give you necessarily one candy they give you a whole bag of them <laughs> whole bag of them how nice so thanks for watching guys be sure to comment rate and subscribe bye, bye. Choco pie. Choco pie. <laughs>